recall the beginning of Axiom Audio uh, 1980. I guess in reality it probably started in the 70s, back when I was in high school and university and got into building speakers as a hobby. Our involvement with NRC was a real game changer for Axiom. I guess if you sort of looked at how speakers were designed in the 70s and, and, and before, there was a lot of sort of artistry involved in it, or, or we, at least we thought there was. And NRC really change that. People's hearing is not sort of like their their taste. It doesn't work that way. When it comes down to uh, sound and audio, you really can quantify what is good sounding and what is bad sounding. For me, uh, I embrace this fully, the whole idea that we could actually build better sounding product. The M100 is the flagship model of our forward radiating line and it's a three-way design and it's meant for, really for people who want the ultimate in two-channel or home theater performance. The M100 has a 3 dB downpoint anechoically of 31 hertz and it's capable of pretty extreme levels on the order of over 110 decibels. The M100 has a driver complement of seven drive units, two tweeters, two five and a quarter inch mid-ranges, and three six and a half inch high power woofers. Our reasoning for the multiple tweeters, mid ranges, and woofers is to extend the dynamic range and reduce compression and distortion at mid and higher levels. The NRC research really started this whole idea that the family of amplitude response curves is what makes the difference in loudspeakers and it is quantifiable. Having the uh, laboratory, the anechoic chamber, right beside the factory is incredibly convenient and has created a big increase in just overall quality control for Axiom. When designing a loudspeaker like the M100, probably 30 to 50 percent of the entire design process is taken up in the anechoic chamber. It then goes through an iterative process where we perform blind listen tests so that we're not biased by what we're seeing, we're only hearing and listening to the differences. As you get larger and taller floor standing cabinets, you start running into internal standing waves that interact with the woofers and the ports. These standing waves can actually occur within the frequency band so that they're audible. When we were doing the M100, we were forced to go to a bracing configuration that uh, spreads out the standing wave. It's actually a staggered window brace configuration, and it helps to damp that internal standing wave. The tweeter in the M100 is a new design for version 4 or series 4. We strove to improve power handling beyond the excellent capability of the previous generation tweeter. We also looked at improving the off-axis performance above 10 kilohertz. We've managed now to actually improve the consistency of that drive unit significantly from the previous generation. Really from the beginning, Axiom Audio has been a manufacturing company. So we're now 34 years of manufacturing. I'm quite proud to say we're actually still manufacturing the products in Canada. We do all the painting of our custom cabinets right here in this paint booth at Axiom here in Muskoka and they're hand applied and sanded in between each coat. When we do a high gloss pair it's 12 hand applied coats. So a lot of people wonder why is Axiom in Muskoka? There's no particularly uh, good business reason for that. <laughs> it, it really has to do with the fact that I grew up in Muskoka. You know being in a rural environment you're going to have a certain passion from your staff that we have here at Axiom. There are people who have been here for almost the entire 34 years. I mean, the staff is the most important part of any company. It, it is what builds your company. We make all of our speakers to order here at Axiom, so that means we can make them literally in an unlimited number of finishes. They come standard in two colors of vinyl, and we have in stock five kinds of woods with five stains for each kind of wood and three different glosses. However, if you have a custom piece of furniture you'd like to match, you can send in a drawer panel and we'll match that. Or if you'd like us to match your walls, you can send in your paint number and we can match it to that exactly as well. Truly, the end goal for Axiom is that a customer buys our product and what they experienced is 
a heightened emotional feeling when they listen to their music or they watch a movie. That is the measurement of the success for us at Axiom.